This is week 25. So, you start in the mount position for the arm bar. I'm gonna push his head so that I can kind of bring his elbows up high. I'm gonna collect my foot into one position and then put all my weight on that side so that my weight is on his hip. The other knee, I drive all the way up towards his ear. My hand goes all the way through. If I can, I wanna collect both arms. My weight is still here. I put my foot over his face before I lay down. And now I pinch my knees. I use my elbow. I can use my elbow here or grab his hand. I want to be attacking the, the arm that's closest to me. Okay? So this arm is here. This one is here. Pinching my knees, pulling my heels close. And now I can lay back. Okay? And attack the arm. Okay? So one more time on the other side. I'm here. I'm gonna shift my weight so that I flip my foot this way, put my hand on the floor, bring my knee all the way to his ear, collect both arms, I'm grabbing behind the tricep, step over before I fall, I'm attacking the arm that's closest to me, pinch those knees, catch his hand, I can keep it from rotating, by hold it here, pinch my knees, pull my heels, and now I have the Ezekiel from Mount, so I have a good wide base. I slide one hand underneath and I keep my head and my arm this way so that my base is not compromised on either side. I'm gonna use my head to push his head that way. I take and I put four fingers inside my sleeve, okay? So I push here, four fingers. I can either use my fist, open hand, or kind of halfway in between and I slide my hand in front of his neck. And once I get it here, the elbow that I had on the floor, I'm gonna lift that elbow. So I four fingers, hand inside, I lift that elbow and chop like a scissor. So it looks like this. Okay, whether it's my hand. Now I can go in the close carotid, the trachea or the far carotid, and they all, they all pretty much work the same. I get my hand in there and do the same choke. Okay, the next one is the Americana from Matt. So I'm here, he's blocking himself. So I'm gonna take two hands on one, push to the floor. My elbow goes on the same side next to his ear. Okay, I'm not using my thumbs. I reach underneath, I get on top. I like to rotate his wrist outward, bring his elbow down towards the hip, and then lift it as, so you imagine your paintbrush on the back of his hand on the floor. The defense portion is he has a good base for mount, okay? Now, last week we did bump and roll, we did bump and swing. So this week what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna grab my hands in front of his hips, okay? And I'm gonna make a fist right in front of his hips, not on the outside of his pants, but in the front, okay? And now I'm gonna bump and then I'm gonna scoop and like snake my body that way. So I bump and then I keep my arms straight and I keep shrimping. Once I get some space, I can start putting my knees back in between us, okay? So one more time, let's go this way. Okay, he has a good base. My hands go fist in front of the hips. I bump and I push him down. Once my elbows go straight, I can start finding my way back to guard, okay? The next one is from mount, same kind of position. What I wanna do is straighten one leg put it on the floor and turn my hip to that side, okay? I'm gonna fight his knee back down so that it's close as possible. I'm gonna take my far side and step over and start peeling, peeling, peeling until I get one foot. Once I have it, I can pinch and either shrimp or just pinch tight and switch and then start fighting for the other side, okay? 